Welcome to this set of training videos designed to assist you as you consider applying for MEEK accreditation. The purpose of this introductory video is to provide a framework for the structure of the standards and definitions of the terms that are used throughout. It is important for you to know a bit about where these standards come from. They are ultimately adopted by the MEEK board after a very rigorous process of research, analysis, and incorporating information and feedback gathered from the following sources. Midwifery educators and practicing midwives, national and international midwifery associations, other accrediting agencies, and the United States Department of Education. This process of revisions occurs approximately every five years. The standards are organized by topic areas required by the United States Department of Education. This is a list of each standard 1 through 10. Each standard is introduced with a statement of purpose and background. For example, you will see that the statement of purpose for standard 2 curricula is graduates of midwifery schools may practice anywhere in the world and work with many different populations. The purpose of the benchmarks in this section is to ensure that the institution is training midwives who will be competent in all of the knowledge and skills identified in the MEEK curriculum checklist of essential competencies. Each standard contains three to five more specific topic areas or benchmarks. Benchmark A contains individual requirements under the topic area curricular mapping. Each benchmark contains the specific requirements to be met for MEEK accreditation. Standard 2 Curricula Benchmark B Learning Activities. What you'll find are the requirements. Benchmark B1. All courses or units of instruction have a syllabus which is distributed to students and includes learning objectives, a description of learning activities, learning materials and resources, and a description of student evaluation and assessment methods. Each benchmark is then followed by one or more demonstrations. This is how the school actually provides evidence to demonstrate how they meet the standards. So again, back to our example, Standard 2 Curricula, Benchmark A Curricular Mapping. The benchmark requirement is that the institution has a curriculum composed of courses or discrete units of instruction. The demonstration, or demo 2A11, provide a list of the modules, courses, or other discrete units of instruction and a brief description of subjects covered in each. Glossary terms. Throughout the standards, you'll find words or phrases in bold face type. These are defined in the glossary section of the Meek Accreditation Handbook, which you can find on the Meek website. For example, under Demonstration Standard 2A11, you'll see the words Discrete Units of Instruction in bold. You'll hear reference to the Self-Evaluation Report. This is the comprehensive document prepared by the school that addresses all of the standards and benchmarks by submitting the required demonstrations. The SER is reviewed by the Accreditation Review Committee, or ARC, and the MEEK Board before accreditation decisions are made. The Accreditation Review Committee visits the school to verify the information provided in the SER by randomly auditing school records and conducting on-site interviews. This is the second way that the school actually demonstrates that the standards are being met. An example of an instruction given to ARC members is that they are to audit curriculum files to verify that course materials clearly specify learning objectives, learning activities, learning resources, and evaluation tools or methods. To continue your learning about MEEK's standards, we hope that you will proceed to the video for each of the individual standards. These short videos will provide you with an overview of the requirements. Thank you for your time.